Olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God bless you. Thank God. Welcome to the Life Change Day program. Thank you so much for being there. May God bless you very much, your home, your family, your Friday. May it be amazing, an incredible weekend, an incredible schedule is starting with the table, with your family. This is very important, very important. And may you make decisions now. I have been reading the scripture, multitudes, multitudes, in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So I need to understand that I need to make decisions. And it has to be now. There are things that to postpone them is suicide of destiny, is to kill your destiny is to ruin with your destiny. And I, and as I deal with people, I hear stories, I see, and some very difficult, very difficult stories, very unpleasant. It's very bad to see someone who were there, was there before in front of their dream of a lifetime and they didn't get ready to that and they couldn't enter. They couldn't leave it because they didn't get ready. So, along all these days, I talked about this topic. I know that the Holy Spirit is emphasizing this topic. And the question, and then the question for you is, what did you do since the day, what were the decisions you made, the attitudes you had since the day that the Lord started to talk and emphasize this topic? Or maybe... Have you been postponing it despite you have been listening to it, despite you have already suffered some losses, despite, despite, you continue? Do you keep procrastinating? Are you a non-believer person that you're able, capable to ask, but there, deep down on your heart, you don't believe in it. You don't believe that God can do. You don't believe that God will answer. And, and then, I told some examples here, like Peter's case, that the church was praying intensively for his deliverance, and the angel was there went there, opened the gates of the prison, and took him out of there. And then Peter went home, he knocked on the door, and nobody opened the door. And when Rhoda ran and said, People, Peter is on the door. They said, What is it? You're wrong. It's his angel. So, it happens. I also told about those people who were favored with tickets to the caravan from Israel, for Israel, and they didn't have passport. Do you believe in it? And at least two that I know, they put in their My Conquest projects. Now, how can a person put in My Conquest projects? It means they prayed for this and they didn't get ready. Faith without deeds is dead. So, we are ready. Look, here, in the middle of the year, and have you been getting ready? Because maybe you 
can say, no, this is the year of my life. I will enter my promised land, my promised land. No, I will live the dream of a lifetime. Answers that answers of a lifetime, but haven't you been getting ready? Because you ask, but but you look, oh, it's impossible. You look to the possibilities, to the impossibilities. To the circumstance. And then you don't do. And then you don't do it. And there are those people who live like this, in this way. Postponing. Tomorrow I'll do it. Just like Pharaoh. Right? He wasn't handling the frogs anymore. He called Moses and Moses asked, When do you want me to pray for this to, to finish? Tomorrow. So some people, they say that they, they can't handle something anymore, but they say, I'll do it, I'll do it later. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll change tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll make this decision. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And then they postpone. They enter in inertia. They are passive. And they let it pass one more day. One more month. One more. One more day, one more opportunity. Look. Ah, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Well, if I am asking something for God, I'm taking the risk to be answered. And if I am answered, just like those people who desired to go to Israel and they were answered, but they couldn't go because they didn't have passport. Hmm? They didn't get ready to the time of opportunity, to the day of opportunity. I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Look at this. For no word from God will ever fail. Look at this. For nothing will be impossible with God. Abraham and Sarah, they gave birth they had Isaac when they were in an old age. Sarah left. Abraham left. But God is the God who fulfills. Zechariah and Elizabeth, they gave birth. They had John the Baptist when they, they were in old age. Mary, when she was a virgin... She had Jesus. She asked, How if I am virgin? And the angel said, The Spirit of the Lord will come and He will cover you. But you can't. He can. But she had to be available. And she was available. May your will be done. I am available. It means... What it's up to me, I am opened. I am open. I need to be open to what God has for me. I need to get ready to what God has for, for me. I need to live. 
Already in the great expectation with the expectation with this perspective of the miracle, I can ask for something and don't get ready because, oh no, this is impossible. But for God, it isn't. Nothing is impossible for God. I will ask. I will cooperate. And God will do His part. I can resurrect Lazarus, but I can't take, remove the stone. There are things that I can do. But there are things that I can do. I can't open the doors of the prison. But I can open the door for Peter to enter. So, what I know that is up to me, that I have to do, I can postpone it. That, that's why I see the Holy Spirit emphasizing and insisting in this topic. Stop. Stop. Don't run to and fro. Fix your life. Organize your life. You have been asking for me something. Get ready to live it. Be ready. Organize your life. Don't let this belief take, take hold of you. Feel you. Don't allow this belief feel you. I ask, but. I am asking, but, but it's too difficult. Oh, but it is impossible. Oh, but how? Oh, but now it's too late. Oh, but wait a minute. Don't do it. God is the God of impossible. At any time, your miracle will knock on the door. The opportunity will come. Your miracle will come and then. Are you ready to live it? Do you have extra oil? Or will you to wait for the opportunity to come, the groom to arrive? And then you're not ready. Because Jesus will come back. Are you ready? You have been asking things for God. Have you been getting ready to live it? Preparing yourself to lead them? Maybe you put there things there in your My Conquest, My Conquest project. Did you only ask or have you been align, aligning yourself, cooperating? Have you been getting ready, preparing yourself? Because that's what I have been seeing. The Holy Spirit is speaking and insisting. Get ready to live your miracle. Get ready to live the impossible. Get ready. Get ready. Remember that to enter in the promised land, the Lord said, get ready to cross the Jordan River. Get ready to the day of opportunity. Have you been preparing yourself for the opportunity of your life? Have you been preparing yourself to the coming of your miracle to live your dream? Have you been getting ready? Get ready. That's what I say to you in Jesus' name. Get ready to cross the Jordan River of your life. Get ready to live the dream of your life. Do what is up to you within your reach in Jesus' name. We know when the Holy Spirit is speaking, is touching. What is the Holy Spirit is speaking to you? What has the Holy Spirit been speaking, talking to you and you didn't listen to it? Speaking, talking to you and you haven't been obeying. What has the Holy Spirit been speaking to you, talking to you and you're saying, Oh no, it's just my mind. I'm creating things. Oh no, it's impossible. How? He is the God of impossible. He's the God of impossible. Nothing is impossible for God. The suddenly takes time to happen, but when it arrives, one day of favor can change all your life, and maybe this day of favor is coming. And are you ready? 
Are you prepared? If today what you have been asking to God arrive, are you ready to take it to to position yourself to live it? Are you? Or you continue postponing. You say that you want something, but you don't want to sacrifice. You don't want to renounce. You don't want to let things go. You don't want to let go some things. Oh, but I want to leave that thing. Oh, because I will leave it. Okay, you'll leave it. Okay, you will leave it. Are you getting ready to leave it? Have you been making decisions that are need, necessary? Have you been doing what is for you to do? But you know that maybe someone has already told you. God already said, the word have been saying, has been saying, the Holy Spirit already said, spoke to your heart. Maybe even the mule spoke. And you? Did you act? Or maybe you have been given into inertia, passivity, resignation. You don't get out of the, the comfort zone. You don't want to go to the discomfort. Hmm? You don't want to break through. You are postponing. You are procrastinating a decision that you have already that you shouldn't have already made. You need to stop. Because the question that is here is, since the day that you have been listening to the Lord speaking to you, what did you do? You didn't answer like Pharaoh, right? Tomorrow. Or did you answer? Remember that tomorrow is a dangerous word. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. I remember that two people said, No, but I will, I will run, I will get it, get my passport. They didn't even search to know that you can get a passport from one day to another. They didn't know about it. They didn't search for it, for this information. It means the person prayed for something and they never, they had never been worried about knowing how, knowing how it works. How can I get a passport? They didn't get prepared. I have been emphasizing this topic in this situation because it was strong, powerful to me. It It was painful for me when this news arrived. It, it, it was really painful. I felt a lot for them. And my prayer for them was this one. And surely they have been watching me and they know that I love them. I pray for them. They are very important for, to me. And that all things work together for the good of those who love God. Right? So, look at this. Their example have been using, used to help other people and surely to assure this for them that they can't postpone decisions anymore. Postpone decisions in their lives anymore. They can't. Because it may be fatal. Fatal. The Lord said to Joshua, get ready to cross the Jordan River. And have you been getting ready to cross the Jordan of your life? Have you been getting ready to live the dreams of your life, the dreams of a lifetime? Have you been cooperating? You have, you have been praying, but faith without deeds is dead. Have you been acting according to this faith? You have faith to ask. Have you been having faith to act? It's not enough to have faith to ask. You need to have faith to act. Believing in the God of impossible. Do in Jesus' name. Do everything that is within your reach. Everything that is possible. Do it. And what is impossible, God will do it. People, 
There are people that they say that they want many things, but they don't pray. They don't fast. They aren't prioritizing God. They are not continually in the church. They are not doing anything. And then when you say, wait, so become an intercessor. Separate 30 minutes. Can you separate 30 minutes to pray for people, to come and pray for people? Make your part. Fix your life. What are the areas that you need to fix, to discipline it? To discipline them. What are the areas that you need to change? What do you need to let go? What do you need to hold? What do you need to stop? What do you need to start to do? Start doing. What have you been asking for? And if it arrives today, are you ready to live it? Do you have the, the preparation to live it today, what you have been asking for? So, you need to ask for God. Turn your darkness to put light, to give you vision, discernment, clarity, wisdom to make decisions. Cooperate. Align yourself. Do what is up to you. In Jesus' name, because many people ask many things, but they don't get ready spiritually, emotionally, physically. They don't get ready professionally. Right? They are asking for something, but they aren't working to live it. It means, in other words, they ask, but they don't live as someone at, at any time they will be answered. And you need to live with this good, great expectation that is coming. It's arriving with this perspective, with this vision of someone who will live this miracle. Because if God is sending the, the word, he's saying, get ready to the day of opportunity because it's, it's coming. And if it arrives today, are you ready today to live it? Have you been given the right answer since the day that you have been listening to God, talking to you, speaking to you? Have you been making the decisions? Have you been aligning yourself, cooperating? Or you continue tomorrow, tomorrow. When you finish the, the program, you don't remember it anymore. And you continue to live in the same way. Get ready to the day of opportunity. Make the decisions. It's just like I, I speak about firm house. There are people who don't come in any time of firm house. I will never understand this. People who waste all their good opportunities to, uh, to draw near to God, to be close to God. And what has been the word for us? Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. And there are people who, they are always running, running here and there, and they have to do many things, and in the end, they are not doing anything. They do many things, and in the end of the day, they see that they... They didn't do anything. They don't have results. They don't have fulfillment. Only frustration. But why? Because they are not giving the right answer. Some even say, Oh, I want so much my life to change. I would do everything for my life to change. No. Because they didn't arrive in the... They aren't in the limit of suffering, just like Pharaoh. I can't handle these frogs anymore. When do you want me to take these, these frogs out? Tomorrow. So, we, but it wasn't unbearable. Because if I can leave it for tomorrow, it isn't unbearable. 
When a person really can't stand something anymore, they do what they have to do today and now. I have today, I have now. If I can't handle it anymore, I'll do what I have to do now. Today, now, now, today. Get up. Nothing is impossible for God. God will work, perform the impossible in your life. And I hope that when the impossible knocks on your door, you may be very ready, prepared to live it in Jesus' name. If you believe, desire, and burn to pray with me, prepare something you burn to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you. Senhor, meu Deus e meu Pai. Lord, my God and my Father, I pray for it to be our life that is with me. And may today these people so loved have received the word, made decisions and firm radical decisions. Because you are calling, you are alerting, you you are a warning, you are saying, and they can't allow robberies in their lives because of procrastination. May they be free and covered with your blood, and may they get up courageously with faith, and may they take bold steps, may they act according to their prayers, because prayer is action. To pray and to act. Faith without deeds is dead. There is no use to pray and don't have any action. There is no use to say that there is faith for something and don't act their faith. Don't take the steps of faith. May they have courage now to get up and do what is up to them. In Jesus' name. I bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, an anointing of conquest, an anointing of ten times more. I pray for homes and families. I consecrate all of these prayer requests that are sent to, to prayer, and I take possession of victories, changes, definitions, strong people, courageous people, decided getting up in Jesus' name. I bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, and anointing of conquest, and anointing of ten times more. Raise more sowers because we need them. And wherever this program is reaching, may this word have transformed lives forever. May I live free people, changed people, fearing you, May fear fill each heart and may this person immediately have already gotten up and acted their faith, moved by faith, and never accept. And may they never accept to leave for tomorrow what they must do today and now. Everything that is within their reach is today. It's now. Thank you so much for everything. I ask for your blessing. I give my blessing. I praise for your goodness and faithfulness. Amen. 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 Thank God. The Life Helpline phone number is 5511-3296-9449. We are located at 995 Taquari Street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are. Today, the God... The God Who Heals service, it will be a pleasure to have you here. Come with your family, bring a, a guest. And if the Lord Jesus doesn't come back, I will continue here talking about life and life change. Have a nice day. Amen. Dia 7 de julho, às 9 horas, início do propósito de fé dos 52 dias para a restauração da sua vida com a Santa Ceia do Senhor. 
O muro ficou pronto em 52 dias. Quando todos os nossos inimigos souberam disso, todas as nações vizinhas ficaram atemorizadas e com orgulho ferido, pois perceberam que essa obra havia sido executada com a ajuda de nosso Deus. O que precisa ser restaurado em sua vida? A família? As finanças? A saúde? A vida espiritual? O Ministério Mudança de Vida dará a grande largada de fé pelo clamor da restauração da sua vida. 52 dias de fé, perseverança, de busca e clamor ao Deus vivo pela restauração da vida de todo aquele que crê.